Anybody got milk? Because I do. You do. You and, that, and that's the best milk that he's ever tried. And it is delicious. All right. So we want to talk to our friends, Kevin and Liz, from 98.7. The Dove, look, all dressed in pink. Y'all look good. Good morning. Oh, we thank you, but we never look as good as you guys. Come on. Oh, come, oh, on, come on. Come on. Yes, you do. Oh, Every wow. day. Every day. It's because we have really fancy filters and lighting to make us look better. <laughs> Yeah. We we have those filters too, but it just makes us sound better. Yeah. So it oh, does oh, gotcha. I see how yeah. it goes. Hey, listen, of course I'm dressed in pink because um, we are gearing up for Booba Palooza next Friday, a week from today. And we just want to make sure that everybody knows they're invited to come out and have breakfast with us. Next Friday morning, uh, we'll be there from 6 to 10 broadcasting live. And if you've never seen a live radio show, it's kind of like a one arm paper hanger. Yeah. You know, it's, it's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's so, gonna be fun. Yeah, it's always fun to come out and watch. You know, and it's our 23rd annual Booba Palooza breakfast. We've been doing it 23 years at Coyotes on Glenstone, and uh, 6 to 10, like Liz said, a week from today on Friday morning, and 10 bucks. We'll get you an all you can eat delicious breakfast, and every penny of that will go to the BCFO, Breast Cancer Foundation of the Ozarks. And as you both know, we are just so fortunate to have the BCFO in the Ozarks uh, because they're taking care of local families that are going through the cancer process. Yeah. And whether it's a mortgage or a gas to put in your tank to get to your treatments, your mammogram, or daycare, or right. whatever the case may be. That's where BCFO comes in, and that's why Kevin and I have been so dedicated uh, to supporting BCFO these yeah. last 23 years. Yeah, I've, yes, heard so many great stories from those folks, and and they they are heart wrenching. But thank goodness we have this organization here. I mean, I'm telling you, that's a great way to put your dollars, put them forward, pay it forward. These families need your help. It's it's amazing. Yeah, and today and the is, breakfast is good and too. The breakfast yeah, is good there you too. go. Yeah. Ten dollars. That's good. Because it is also National Mammogram Day, we want to remind all the ladies out there mm -hmm. that are over 40 that they should be getting an annual mammogram and at the very least see your doctor once a year to make sure that you're in tune with your body because yeah. the key to survival, of course, as you know, Kelly, is early detection. Right. I'm getting yeah. mine next week. You're, get, you're yeah. getting one? Thought I should. I'm over 40, right? Well, well <laughs> here in a couple of years. Okay. <laughs> here in a couple of years, Liz. He jokes, but I will yeah. say this: one in 800 men will get breast True. cancer. And in a really bizarre coincidence, both my dad and my biological dad had breast cancer. That is what? crazy. Liz, did that put you at higher yeah. risk? Well, no, it doesn't make me at higher risk, but it was just so odd that both of these men, and both of them were over 75 when it happened. Right. But it just goes to show you that even men have to stay in tune with their bodies. Yeah, absolutely. And then one in eight women will get it. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's crazy. Right. Um, we all know someone. If oh, they're yeah. not related to us, yeah. we, we work with them, or they go to church with us. I mean, we all know someone that has been through this process, and, you know, the, and it's devastating. It is. It can be. But the good news is, you know, and you guys know this, early detection, that's the key. Yeah. You catch it early. Right most likely you're going to make it through. So. Yeah, so many advances have been made. Um, so really, the only thing that we have to do is pay attention to our bodies, and that is the most important thing, and I know you guys would both agree. Yes, yes absolutely. Um, do you mind if I yeah. switch gears for a second? No. Because you're radio people. You're, they're music people. I have to ask them. Okay. You know, Adele dropped her new, newest song in six years last night. I was on the premiere YouTube at 6 p.m. when it, it debuted at midnight UK time, mm -hmm. 6 p.m. our time. I was there ready for it. I want your thoughts on the new song. Well, first of all, I saw that you kind of poo-pooed it. I did. Uh, yeah, on... he did. Well, saying meh, I like it. It's just meh. Meh. Yeah. Meh. yeah. Well, it's hard. You know, I agree that it's not her best song, but it's hard to beat what she's already done because she's put out so many great songs that, you know, you put this out, and if it's not better, you're a little bit disappointed. Yeah, that's the problem with being a Grammy winner, a successful artist, is that you got to constantly outdo y yourself. Your last I'm gonna, hit, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to agree with you. 
uh, that it is kind of meh. In yeah. fact, I got a little bit of a rolling in the deep yes. vibe. Yes, yes. Okay, so it's upbeat? No, it's yeah. not necessarily upbeat. It it's just kinda... sounds like every other Adele song to me. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta agree with you there, and uh, Jeremy, and I, and, and I, I was a little bit disappointed because we've all been waiting six years. Now we haven't heard the whole album, yes, so right. we'll give her the benefit of oh, the yeah. doubt. But I gotta, I'm, I gotta and, say, I'm with you on that one. And I tell you what, it's still gonna sell. It's still gonna sell a billion yeah. copies. Oh, yeah. So I'm wondering if she chose that one, or if her record label, if she has one, chose it. Yeah, you never really know. The, uh, the record labels do control a lot of that. So. Uh, but the funny thing uh, is, is the warning that she put out, and this was before we heard any even one note of the music, is that it's going to make you reconsider your relationship. She said, yeah, well, and, and this was almost a direct quote. She said, it's going to make a lot of women go, wait a minute, I'm out of here. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I did Whoa. not have that reaction to Warning the song. Warning label on this, <laughs> on this music. Uh, my wife needs to not listen to it. <laughs> but she, she wrote the whole thing during her divorce. Right. So what well, did you expect? Well, that's the best time to write music is when you're sad. That's, so that's a, yeah. yeah. That's just, oh. true. Guys, we love you so, so, so much. And Thank I'm hoping, you. will you guys be doing our Zoom next week from your live broadcast? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That was a question yeah. I was going to ask earlier. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll be we at Coyote. Miss you. Yeah, please, please do. Okay. And check out uh, bcfo.org. If you can't make it, maybe you can still make a donation. Okay. Happy weekend, guys. Yes, love you guys. Love See you next week. Bye. Hey, Chiefs. Uh, yeah. Go Chiefs. Yeah, go Chiefs. Go Chiefs, yes. Yeah, okay. don't go anywhere. Our Mass Singer recap is next. And I'll just say this. You're in for a surprise. And here's Adele's song right now. Oh,